What's up guys, welcome back to the Team Swim Circus live video. Turn on the left side here, we have Brandon Despia, a deck that has very popular, you know, one of the most favorite lore deck type decks. On the right side here, we have Unchained, a deck that got a lot of support, and I believe it was Duelist Nexus, um, with the release of three new cards here. Before we dive in, if you like, comment, subscribe, we're on the road to 5k here. Um, we're both using the Team Swim Circus mat, you know, spread out, appreciate it a lot, I love it. Um, and then we're going to be diving in here. With Unchained, you can choose to go first or second here. Obviously, going to be choosing to go first. You know, very powerful being able to set up like a Rage plus Caesar there. Um, it's very good here against the brand strategy, or I guess, yeah, against the brand strategy here. But we're going to be seeing them activate a Gates, and then they're going to be searching for the Vice King. Activate the Vice King, popping, summoning itself out there. Then we're going to smash down a uh, the Machine X. We're gonna set one card here. Activate, or actually, we're gonna activate the this spell here. Searching for the escape. No really reason to set it first. Then we're gonna set it. Activate, shuffle back, gain a thousand here. And then we're gonna be able to summon out here probably a Shavara. Which we are gonna be seeing. We can link both these away here, which we are gonna be doing for a Yama. That'll trigger the effect of Yama as well as the Shavara. To be able to set the other trap here, and then we'll be getting the search chest for either Shavara or a Arua. We're going for the Shayama here because we have not normal summoned. That is another possibility as well. I um, mean, you know, lots of different lines of play here, but they, a lot of them do the exact same thing. Then we're gonna activate the um that's not Rakea. The uh, red one here in the hand, popping the face down, summoning out the Shyama. Then we're going to normal summon out the copy of the Little Freak here. And then we're going to be popping, and that's going to be able to summon, and as well as reset the escape here. And now we have a lot on our board here. We can link away for a Rage, and then we can XYZ into a copy here of the Caesar. And then we're just going to pass turn here. So it's going to take a second to read the, uh, the Caesar. Very good card. Normal sum of the Aluber activating the effect here. Searching for a Brandon Lost. Brandon Lost is problematic because of the fact that, you know, Caesar does negate activation, so it cannot activate under Lost. But we will be able to chain the escape to pop the lost here, which is very good. Um, and then we can add back with the rage, as well as trigger the effect of Yama to summon back out the rage here. Essentially just not losing anything, which is getting rid of that one um, loss on the field, which is very good. Then we're going to see a branded fusion there. We are going to be chaining to negate. Um, and then, you know, that will let us get the activate the effect here. To search, or I guess place down, I should say, the uh, the reborn here with the effect of Shyama in the graveyard there. And we reveal the ash that we had as well. Um, and we are good, good friends with uh, Usman here. So big shout out to Usman here for being on the channel as well. Um, always having fun. I believe that Brandon was his first competitive deck as well uh so that's pretty nice then we're normal summon out a tour guide having like the one of the best um you know top decks in the game here for us to go into a yama activate the yama effect here and then we essentially just have a automatic way to uh to just get game because we're going to add back the arua from the graveyard here popping it popping the face down with it um, and then being able to summon from the deck summoning with the disaster dog disaster dog is going to be able to link summon with the copy here of our I guess we don't have any link zones so we actually can't um, so first we're gonna have to link away into like a copy of a bigger monster here going for a abomination and then the disaster dog will be able to link away here for like a rage or whatever really we want um, going for a, mu a muckracker and then muckracker effects gonna be targeting the Rage, I believe, and then discarding the copy of Abomination here to summon back out. Or something like back out the Sarama. Sarama. 
This is 100% game. We're just clearing the game. We're going to be setting the escape, popping the Arua. Arua effect can activate there, which can summon out the big boy or the Rakea. Are we just going to be activating the Shavara to pop the Rakea here? Um, there's more than enough damage on board as we speak. Yeah, we're going to attack for game. We see a tragedy in the hand as well as an edge of chain. So really banking on that branded fusion and um, that's what i don't like about branded unfortunately is that you know you do have to rely on sometimes you end up getting those cards i know that you know he is a budget player but we did get the rarity collection um announcements today so we do have the exact replica of the other rarity collection there and that is a pretty good set you know we see ash blossom looking to be about three dollars here you know it's in everybody's deck um so does that make branded worse than it was before because now everyone has accessibility to branded or i guess to ash blossom here but we see lots of different cards like nibiru in the deck or in the in the sets cards like thrust or not thrust but talents um imperms um so many really good amazing cards and that prosperity you know bringing the price of all these cards down so everyone can play it um just ends up making the game a lot better uh, for for everyone truly um we always love accessibility as well as you have some nice rarities, you know. We're looking to get a quarter century rare Albaz there to, you know, to go off with the quarter century um, Cartesias, or I guess the Starlight rares. But you can also get a quarter century uh, Dogmatica um, Ecclesia to go off with the Starlight rares. Personally, I am a huge fan of the 25th century. I think it looks absolutely clean the way they put that stamp there. It just refle reflects in the light perfectly. As well as, you know, I love Ultra Names. I'm a huge fan of those. Um, so I, I love the rarity. But we're going to be diving into game two with Brandon being choosing to go first here. We're going to activate a Fright for Patchwork. You know, you guys are here for the game. So we're going to be going back into the gameplay there. But we can definitely talk about the variety collection in the comment section if you guys want to. You know, being able to search for a Polymerization as well as Edge Jump Chain. Very nice. Activating Fusion Deployment here. Going to be able to reveal either the... So going for... Albaz here, so probably having the Cartesia in the hand already, but you know, also being a possibility if we did not have Cartesia. And we do see Ash Blossom in the hand there. We're going to see a Cartesia system himself out, and then we're going to activate Polymerization here using the Chain and the Tragedy, and then we're going to activate both of those effects there. We're going to search for a copy of a Luber. As well as the Fry for Patrick. Then we can normal summon the Luber. Act for the effect here. That's going to let us add potentially Branded Lost or Branded Fusion. That's a possibility as well. So we see the Ash Blossom being placed face up in the hand. They're going to activate Brand Fusion, and we do see the Ash being responded there. But we do have Cartesia, you know, being able to go into a Grand Ganal, or potentially using the Quiritus as the Albaz to go for a copy of the Mirror Jade right away. We could also go for the Aluber plus, um, plus Albaz, go for a Lubelion, and then discard one of the cards in the hand. That we don't need, but they're going to activate the effect here of the Cartesia, and we're going to be responding with a copy here of Valor in Platinum Rarity, by the way. Best rarity, if you ask me. And they're going to set one pass, and on the draw, we're going to see Tikaboo being flipped face up. You know, Tikaboo being a crazy card. Um, and then we are going to be imperming in the draw phase, so Cartesia cannot activate during the main phase this turn here. But we are now on three cards here. We're activating Prosperity. Will we be able to see here? You know, going to be have to dig for six. You know, really all we have to see here is a single copy of Arua, Rakea, Sarama, 
And I think that's that's about it. You just need one of the little guys. I guess, you know, you could search. Really, we just need either the one of three of Rua or the one of two of Sarama or Rakea or the Abomination Prison here to search. Um, but it looks like we do end up hitting the Arua. So out there, you know, we had eight, eight, eight out of 34 cards. Um, so that's pretty nice there. And then we're going to be seeing the normal summon of the Arua. We can go battle phase here, attack into the Aluber, take the damage. And then we're going to be able to act with the effects here. Something with the Abomination. That's going to be able to activate its effects here to pop the Tikaboo by sending the Disaster Dog in the hand. Um, and then we're going to be attacking in over the Cartesia there. So now we're left to one card in hand, and I love Dog. We're just going to pass on this, not having enough. You know, we have Normal Summoned. They're going to activate the Fight for Patrick here. Search for the Chain as well as the Polymerization. You know, Polly will be able to go into a Lubellion here if we wanted to. Um, we now have three cards in hand. You know, we'll search for another Pride for Patchwork if they're on the three, two copies, which I believe they are. They're going to activate Tragedy, setting the Branded Fusion here by banishing itself. And then we're going to see a normal summon of a kit here. And that's going to search for the Branded Lost. And then we put one card back to the bottom of the deck there. Um, and then we're just going to be scooping up here. Um, we do another Valor for turn, yeah. Uh, we didn't see the card put back, but, you know, it would probably be putting back, like, the Palmerization or the Chain there, depending on what they think they need. I would probably keep the, uh, the Poly there, to be honest. Um, but moving on into Game 3 here. Unchained will have the advantage, you know, being able to go first here. And I know that... Uh, Uzman is a little bit of a budget player there, um, you know, coming right into the game, being fresh, but always you know, having some good cards, having some good strategies. This man was a fiend locking people with Puppet Lock uh, a while ago here. He was just locking left, right, and center. I, I'm not even on Branded anymore. So he's like the only lo player at Locals who was playing Branded. And when there was that little period of time where people weren't playing as many Bistules, it was just causing Rampage, you know. You either have it or you don't, unfortunately. And like, if they end up going first and winning the die roll, and they set up their board and they puppet lock you, it just, you know, you just submit defeat there. If you don't see it in the game three, kind of rough. Um, but we're gonna be seeing them read the Griffin. A powerful play that Brandon can make. Um, you know, I don't think, or I guess, a powerful play Unchained can make that Brandon does struggle up against. You know, it is one of those t cards you want to be able to make. Versus Branded. Unfortunately, if I do recall, um, it's kind of hard to make in the middle column. Um, I know when Live Twin Sprite was playing it, they were able to put it in the middle column um, very, very easily there. But in this build, it's a little bit more difficult um, to do. But we're going to be seeing us activate a tour guide here. Searching for the, or summoning out the Rhino. You know, having a great normal summon. Then link away into Yama, chain link one, chain link two, Rhino. Gonna be able to put the uh, Shavar in the graveyard there. Good old Shawarma, as we call it. And then we're gonna be able to add off of the um, Yama, adding a copy of the Shawarma. And then we're gonna be able to set the escape here. And it looks like we do have the Aru in the hand here, but we're gonna be choosing to activate the Shavara. Popping the trap, summoning out the Sarama. That is a little bit of a misplay. You definitely use the Arua to pop the trap so that you can use the effect here to reset, pop, and get your effects. Um, but we're going to be able to activate Sarama. So we do have the chamber to be able to continue to play. Okay, you know, a little bit less good there, but we're going to be summoning out the Shyama. And then we can link away into the Rage if we want to, or if we're going to be going for something else here. You know, never punished, it looks like. We can go for the Rage Caesar line here if we wanted to, or we could attempt to go for the G Griffin uh, Muckracker. 
We're going to go for the Muttcracker here. Activate the effects, sending the second tour guide, summoning out the uh, copy of Yama. Then we're going to activate the effect, summoning out the Rakea here. The Muttcracker is in the wrong zone, if I do believe. Um, it should be in the other zone there. We're going to be summoning out the Griffin here in the middle column. And we're going to be able to activate the effects, sending to the graveyard a copy of Shavara. Um, not the greatest. That's going to be able to reset out the chamber there and drawing us a card as well. We're going to activate the Arua, popping the Muttcracker. I'm not sure why we're going to do this. Then we're going to link away into the copy here of Soul of Rage. Yeah. We're going to go battle phase. Activate evenly. I mean, that was 100% a misplay, but we were going to be losing it, I guess, regardless. Um, we're going to be activating escape, popping the face down, as well as the... Uh, as well as the rage, this can be able to trigger the effect of the uh, rage as well as the as well as the uh, chamber here, and we can activate the effect of Yama as well, banishing itself to summon back out the rage. That's pretty nice. Then we can add back the shawarma here, and then we're going to be able to summon out. A copy of the Arua. Okay. I think it's just a name at this point. It doesn't really matter which which it really is. We're gonna be seeing a Friper Patrick being activated here, letting them search for a Palmerization as well as Edgem Chain here. Droll is so good against this variant of the deck. You know, just being able to smash down that Droll. Um, he's on like 45 cards though, so like, you know, we're not going to be seeing Brianna Fusion as much. Um, we go, oh, well, if we only uh, hit the uh, hit the mistaken arrest there. But we forgot to put it in our side deck. Um, we just got it at the event there. Shout out to Alex for those cards. Um, we're going to see them activate the Albion the Shroud Dragon here, being able to dump um, the Retribution from the deck and being able to draw one card. And then we're going to be drawing. Got lots of cards in hand. But we're going to be setting a card here and activating the effect of Polymerization. Setting the Tragedy. And it looks like we're going to go for a Guardian Chimera play here. Tragedy, Mercurier, as well as the Chain. Opening Mercurier again here. Going for a Guardian Chimera in defense position here. Uh, he did say in defense position. He did say it. I do recall this, but it is an attack. It, I don't think it actually ma like the attack and defense. It only matters like you don't want to put stuff in attack against Unchained because they will be uh, you know um, popping stuff. So yeah, we're gonna be putting it in defense position there, and then we're going to be seeing. Uh, the patchwork being searched as well as either the ad lib or the aluber here but unfortunately we have already normal summoned by setting that copy of tragedy to go into the guardian chimera we're going to be searching for the ad libitum here do we have another way to fusion summon is a question then we're going to be seeing the guardian chimera popping the chi uh the the Guardian Chimera popping um, the Griffin here. Rage will not be able to target it. We're going to see Brandon Fusion going to be activated here. And we are going to be letting that resolve. I don't believe we have an Ash in hand. We're going to see Albaz as well as a Lubellion probably in this play. Going for the Albion line. Yeah, so going for the Lubellion here. 
summoning out the Albion. And they're going to activate the Albion effect here. And I believe we're going to be chaining the Rage. We should at least chain Rage here. I feel like, yeah, you definitely have to chain Rage. So we're going to chain Rage. And then we're using the Albion here. Or, I guess we're thinking. We're going to activate Rage. Target Albion. Chain DD Crow on the Albaz. So we're going to be going into an SP Little Knight here. Then they have to fuse if they are able to. Which they are going to be fusing for... They, we know they have... Tragedy and Graveyard, so they will just have to banish that, essentially. But they could have other cards in hand. You know, they could use the Aluber, or not the Aluber, but the Ad Libitum, as well as their copy of, like, um, Edgem Chain. So are we going to see the Edgem Chain here being banished, as well as, they're, like, debating if they're Tragedy or the Ad Libitum. Um, I mean, Ad Libitum will be able to summon back out the copy here. They're going to go for the Quiritus. And then we see the Quiritus effect here. And then we are going to be activating the Little Knight's effect here to attempt to banish the Aluber here. Um, and it's no longer the same target, so it will not be able to summon it out, unfortunately. Because it moves spots. It's crazy that that's like a, that's a thing. Like it just moves spots as long as the same card. What's a wild, wild ruling? Um, you know, as if there's only one of the cards. You know, it's it's pretty wild. But Little Knight is an insane card here. Um, you know, if he activates an effect, we'll be able to also banish two cards, our our card as well as his card to the end of the turn. Um, you know, one of the very powerful cards out of the newest set that everyone is really looking for. But not very much left, you know, to be able to activate here. We're looking in the graveyard to see what we have left. And it's going to pass turn on this. So we're going to draw for turn here. You know, having lots of gas left. We have a Rua. I mean... Rua doesn't do very much, but we just have to find a way to, like, outbreak the board there. And we also don't have a... Uh... We're going to activate the effect of Shavara here, targeting the prison. Popping prison here. That's actually a crazy draw. And I'll be able to set that. It's going to be absolutely crazy. Going for the Shyama in the deck here. We could go for a Caesar... Looks like we're thinking here. Going for a Caesar that will be able to beat over the copy of um, the whatever his name is called, Quertus. We're going to activate, he's going to activate the Quertus effect. We're going to be chaining Little Knight here, you know, being banishing them both. The effect is not negated though. And then we're going to be going essentially here, linking those two away for the Yama. Activating the effect here of Yama to add back um, the Sarar. We have not normal summoned yet, so we can normal summon it as well as, you know, get the effect of the um, Shyama. They're going to normal summon with the effect of the Sarama. Activate the effect summoning back. For the Rakea, activate the effect of the Rakea because it was sat and popped. That's going to summon out here from the deck. We are running out of resources here as well as time um, in the round there. Going for the Abomination, we don't have a card to destroy and we cannot target the Chimera there. 
Um, so, you know, we, we have had another card in the hand to be able to do that. We do have the Shyamalan Grave to be able to pop the Sarama. We are going to be activating that, you know, summoning itself out, popping it, activating the effect here, and we're going to be summoning out the Arua. And here's a spice. Uh, we can actually smash down a copy of the, where is it? It's coming very soon here. A copy of where is it at? The Typhon here, because Superstar Slayer Typhon the Sky Crisis, because it is a fiend. And so we're going to be activating the effect, non targeting bounce, and then just go for game here. And Unchained takes the game here. Um, you know, taking game three in a very cool fashion. I love, you know, being able to use Little Knight as well as Typhon. Two new cards from uh, from Age of Overlords. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I want to see some more content like this. And uh, don't forget to stay safe. Peace.